Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, today we're going to make shortcut nachos. And you'll see what I mean by shortcut when we get started, but a little secret. It is Hamburger Helper Cheesy Enchilada. So all you do is make that, top it on your nachos, and top your nachos with whatever you want. And um, it comes together really quickly. And the Cheesy Enchilada nach uh, Hamburger Helper is really good anyway on its own. But when you make that and top it on your nachos, you do not have to make like any sides. I don't make beans with it. I don't make a Spanish rice because the rice is already in, in the hamburger helper. So anyway, it's a shortcut to really yummy, yummy nachos. And this is how we like our nachos. So we're going to get started right now. editing Christy here um, since everybody knows how to make hamburger helper you just basically throw it in the pot and uh, let it cook this has turned into how I make my guacamole video <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoy the recipe so I have my hamburger helper in the pot and it is cooking back there you can see the flame under the pot um, I'm gonna start with um, the avocados. I used three avocados and luckily I cut them and they looked beautiful. But um, I'll, I usually squeeze them out of the shell because it's just easier. I'm going to mash them up anyway. But you'll see me doing that in just a minute. Look, perfect avocado. You rarely get that. I start by rolling a lime just to get the juices flowing and I'll add it to my avocado just so it doesn't turn brown on me. Now that I have uh, my avocado and lime uh, smashed together, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper and some granulated garlic. Love granulated garlic, by the way, in case y'all didn't know. <laughs> now I'm going to chop up this um, jalapeno. I'm going to take the seeds out and then I'm only going to chop half of it because I'm going to taste it to see how hot it is. And you need to do that because if it's not very hot and you want it hotter, you'll need to cut the other half. In this case, that jalapeno was uh, pretty warm, so I only used half of it. <laughs> now I'm going to use about a third of this red onion. It was pretty darn big, so um, around a third, I would believe, is what it ended up being. Maybe a quarter, but however much onion you want. But all of your ingredients that you have to dice up, dice it really fine. You'll want it fine because you don't want big chunks in your guacamole. Now I'm going to add some cilantro. I do not like the stems in mine. I think they're just a little tough. So I do pick all the leaves off and then I will chop them finely. And I know cilantro is kind of controversial. Either you like it or you don't like it. If you don't like it, leave it out. It's your kitchen. You do whatever you want. Now 
just going to transfer everything into this um, bowl and give it a good mix and in just a minute you'll see me add the um, paste piccani sauce um, or salsa I like adding it because the um, salsa gives it a little tiny bit of sweet flavor and um, it has onions and everything already in it so I just use a little bit of that for flavor and texture One tip that I have is to use shower caps to cover a dish that's going in the refrigerator. Um, you can get these at Walmart in where the shampoo and stuff is at. And that's way cheaper than Ziplocs or cling wrap. So that's what I like to use. And I just throw them away when I'm done. Now as you can see here, I have let my um, cheesy enchilada hamburger helper cook and then we're gonna start assembling our nachos. And here we go, I topped my chips with the um, cheesy enchilada, sour cream, guacamole, and salsa. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. Hit that follow button if you haven't already so you don't miss a recipe. I upload videos once a week. Have a great week and I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.